Hey, what's up members? Okay, you're gonna be looking at the back office of the ManyChat account. And now if you have not created an account yet, make sure that you go and do that right now. It's only $10 investment. And it's gonna be one of the best investments you've ever made. Now, if you are just starting out, of course, which you most likely are, then you're gonna look on the left-hand column and you're gonna to wanna to go to Growth Tools. Now from Growth Tools, this is gonna be where we wanna add uh, the sequences and the things that are gonna be there now. First thing that we have to do, of course, is we're gonna be able to create a sequence. So we're gonna to wanna to go to Engage, and then go to sequence, create new sequence. Let's call this test for members. Okay, create that. Now, here's where we have the, uh, the sequences that we can start to create. Now, we'll go into that in just a second, but first what we wanna do is create that lead page. So now we wanna go to your growth tools, create new growth tool, and that's going to be a landing page now is what we're going to want to go after. So let's call this the same thing, test for members up top. And once you have that up there, go and choose landing page. You can go and make it a, a box if you want. You can embed the button on your own website. So all these things are totally doable. The first thing that I want to show you is obviously what we're doing right now, which is just you know making it work really well. This is helping businesses who don't want to invest in say a large CRM like Infusionsoft or something that's going to cost her you know a, a couple hundred bucks a month. And now you can actually start to generate leads and have a behaviorally follow up, you know, uh, something that is going to indicate exactly where they're at and what they want, and make it easy for you to sell them. And this is all for like I said, about ten dollars a month. So it's been crazy. It's just crazy. So here we're going to go to landing page, and then from landing page we're going to choose whether or not we want to have a button with a checkbox or send a messenger. Meaning that this checkbox underneath is just having them confirm that they want it sent. We don't see that necessary, so we just keep it at sent to messenger keep a show description on. The backgrounds, we've actually noticed, I've tested it between a bunch of them, it doesn't really matter honestly, between plain white or something like this, or this, I think ours is somewhere around there, I gotta double check, I think it's that one actually. And then we turn the copy black. Um, and so it might be a little bit lighter actually. I'm not sure, but it's something around there, but you can make it whatever you want. Honestly, these are so plain and so ugly. I don't know how they convert like they do, but we're seeing conversions at anywhere. Typically, when I show you in a minute, we're gonna be seeing them right around 34%. And this is for two different tests for two different colors for two different headlines. So same offer written completely different to the same market and we're converting about the exact same. So uh, I'm not sure if the, uh, Color really matters, but I would not go too crazy. I'd keep it at maybe something pretty light and then of course have the, to where the text could still be seen. Now you can also go through and change the background of the button and all that good stuff. Uh, what we're gonna do is just keep this as white and we are going to keep the button the way that it is. We'll keep it large and then we're gonna go to next. Next, we're going to see this is what it looks like when they actually click that button. This is gonna let them know that their message has been sent and it's on the way to their messenger. So you can change the color of the background. I actually like the green and we have show description, show new message, right? So instead of, you could redirect them to a, a, a URL and that would then be like a thank you page that you created inside of ClickFunnels or your website and you could redirect them there with a specific message on either what to do next for an upsell, you can give them a video, you can you can see there's so many different ways for you to maneuver them from there now taking them to say another call to action or some more value. And what we like to do though is just send it straight to your messenger and then start the conversation there. We wanna have the dialogue start up right away and this allows us to do that. So from here, what we do is we keep everything pretty much the same. All you have to do to hover over the uh, the titles is obviously put in headline with strong call to action. So, and then this is uh, basically something that just says click below to gain instant access. So I make my big call to action in all bold so that it's easily seen on when you preview it here, right? You want this to be what's seen. And then we have click below to gain instant access. And then when you go to the submitted state, you just hover over that same thing. And what I would do is I like, uh, voila. And then check your inbox for, and then of course, insert title of bribe, right? So 
whatever it is that you're giving away. So check your inbox for uh, the ultimate swipe file, check your inbox for the video series, check your inbox for whatever it is, and then they can go and view it in Messenger right there. You can also give maybe a call to action on that they can unsubscribe at any time. You can give that here. I don't really like to use that in the messages because it takes away the focus of what we're trying to do. So you could put that here, that's a good thing to do. Okay, so then from here, we go into next, and you want to obviously add them to a sequence now. Now, if, of course, this is why we go into create the sequence first. Without you having a sequence, then you're not gonna be able to put this anywhere. So you create the sequence first, then when you come into growth tools and you get to this port in opt-in actions, go to the sequence that we just created, test for members, and now we know that we can create this. So we can go ahead and make it personalized, meaning that we can pull whatever information we want that Facebook has and put it in there, making it more personalized. And then we also have the message. So this would be something like, you know, welcome Brandon, of course, you know, welcome Brandon. Uh, here's your, and then insert title of bribe. And from there, then what you wanna do is add a button. So here's where you're going to say, the button would be, um, let's say that it is a, a swipe file, right? Like how we have. So it would be insert button, swipe file, right? Or access swipe file right you only have a certain number of characters and then what you would want to do is either take them to a link reply with a message or have them call a number you would have them uh, reply with a message right or open up a website so from here it'd be open up a website and then it would be your whatever it is that you're giving away this would be the link to your pdf this would be the link to your uh, page that you created with the PDF so they can get the download. This would be wherever it is that you want to send them so they can get what it is that they just opted in for. Okay. And then you would say, uh, welcome. Here's your, here's your PDF. Uh, uh, here's your PDF. Talk with you soon. Or, you know, let me know what you think. There you go. That's a better one. Here we go. Let me know, let me know what you think. Okay. So welcome, Brandon. Or you could say something like, "Just I usually end up doing just the first name, Brandon." Here's the here's your uh, uh, you requested, right? So we can always make it better, right? Here's your PDF you requested. Let me know what you think, right? Access swipe file, right? And then from there, we want to see how we can make sure we add a new action. So we would want to add a tag, and this would be add a tag would be. Click to download test, right? And then you would add that tag so that it allowed you now to tag that person. And so if we wanted to just tag that person for say, watched a uh, um, 10K video, right? Okay, so then we would save that. Boom, now we would know who's watched those videos so that we could send specific emails or messages to those people. Now what's gonna happen is we can come to the setup now. So you're gonna to go to next. And now what you wanna do is you wanna save all this and then you want to copy to clipboard, come over to a new URL and now watch what's gonna happen. Look at this, there's your page. There's everything that we're looking for. So now what we wanna do is obviously come back to our grow to our engage portion over here and make sure that we have our sequences, test for members, come to introduction in, in the first message. And now what we're gonna say is, let's just call this sorting questions, okay? So this is where we're gonna end this video. You have everything set up. On the next video, we're gonna go into the sorting questions and you could pick up right from right, from right here, okay? Uh, start to go through everything that we've gone through to, up to this point, have your lead page created, have your, uh, your links all put in the right place, have your first message set up, and then after that, we're gonna set up the place where you can actually have a sales sequence involved now. So the first part is just giving them value and then delivering that value. We got that part set up. Next part, we're gonna go on actually getting them into a meeting or selling a product or getting to watch a video, whatever it is that you want them to do. Okay, so get that part set up and I'll see you on the next training video.